All right, this is Mr. James here with your first uh, writing and vocabulary lesson. So the way this is going to work is you have your packet with you and your book, which is uh, Explorers, Triumphs, or Trouble. And as I am uh, going through the vocabulary, we'll find that word in the text. We'll give some examples, some synonyms, uh, and you can fill in your table um, on that packet as we go through it. You might want to pause the video uh, when you get to a point where you're filling things out so that that way you can follow along with the text that I'm reading and with the screen as it goes. Uh, we'll see how this works. Hopefully it helps you learn. That's why we're here. So our first word uh, is the word route, uh, and that is a noun, and it is found on page four in your book. So I'm opening to page four. You should be doing the same thing. Oh, look, I found it here in the section entitled route finding. So you can see, oh, there we go, route finding, right? Some people might say route. Uh, I say route. I think both are proper. <clears throat> and it says some explorers wanted to find a new route to a place they already knew about. Christopher Columbus, for example, was trying to find a new way to reach Asia when instead he stumbled across what we now call the Americas. So as I'm reading through that text and I'm thinking about the possibilities of what it might mean, uh, it the sentence says, wanted to find a new route to a place they already knew about. So that makes me think that it's going to connect two places together uh, in terms of a route. I've also given you a picture there that might help you come up with your answer uh, or what you think it might mean. So you should be thinking right now, what does the word route mean? And I know it's a pretty familiar word to some of you, so you may know what it means already. Uh, the definition I have down is a road or a path. You might have some other synonyms or definition words, and you can write those in the box. And some morphological links, which are the words that are related to that word route. Uh, there is the word routed. There is routing. Uh, those are just different verb forms like past tense and current or present tense. And there's another word I think I might have put in your packet that says reroute which means to send in a different route. Uh, so if you come up with any other morphological links, write those down as well. And then I provide a sample sentence. Oh, and it's covered up by my face a little bit. The students took the same route to school, I think it says behind there, every single day, which means they went on the same path, they went down the same road every single day. What do you need, Sarah? Sorry, I'm just opening Sarah's lunch bag. This would be an endorsement for you to uh, go and get your own uh, lunch uh, on my, uh, every day, 11 to 1. You can get lunch and breakfast for the next day. As you can see, it has things like uh, Rice crispy granola bars in it. So, Sarah, are you enjoying the lunch you got today? She says yes, she's enjoying it. All right. So go ahead and... Pause this video and write your own sentence with the word route. Make sure you're using strong context clues so that somebody could figure out what it meant even if uh, they didn't know the meaning of that word. Next word is the word legendary, and it is located uh, on page five in your text, and it is an adjective. So we're going to open up the text, and you should be as well looking for the word legendary within your text. So I'm scanning and trying to find that word because I want to find <clears throat> the word and look at the context clues around it. Let's see here. In my next videos, I think I'll pre-find the words. There it is. It is in the top section that says hunting for wealth. And it says, the Spanish explorers of the 1500s who searched for South America's legendary golden one, El Dorado, were examples of wealth seekers. They were looking to get rich. So, legendary, and it says, who searched for South America's legendary golden one. Um, when I think of legendary, I would look... If it's legendary, I might look at the words around it, which means it's a legend. Uh, a lot of times, uh, I'm sorry, I'd look at that morphologically, that word part. 
and legends are things that are well known that might give me a hint it also says that spanish explorers search for it so many people were exploring for it so i would make a guess that maybe it might deal with that uh and the definition or synonyms we have there are famous or mythic and uh those would be mean that they're you know very well known something legendary is very well known and the morphological link we have there is a legend like i said you can see that root word within there uh, as you're looking at it and the sentence i have says the legendary explorers lewis and clark traveled across the country to discover uncharted lands and legendary uh describes it's an adjective to describe those explorers Hopefully you know who Lewis and Clark are, and that would make them legendary. That would make them famous and usually in the past as legendary. Please take a moment to pause the video and write your own sentence now. Our next word and final word is the word secretive, and that word is on page seven. Uh, and on page seven, it is actually, I see it down in the or trouble section at the bottom. And so in that or trouble section, <clears throat> it says, China was a secretive place where foreigners were not allowed to travel freely. But the travels of Marco Polo told people all about China and its customs. So those two sentences, there's a lot of context clues in there. People not allowed to travel freely. That would make it so that maybe this is a private land. Uh, that might help me out. I also see that it says it told people all about China and its cu customs, which means that people didn't know about them. And lastly, you may know the word. Hopefully, you know the word that we'd find in the middle uh, at the beginning of that word which is the word secret and so we know that secret is something that is hidden um, and the morphological link there is secret you could also say secrecy uh, you might think of other words that would fit with uh, that adjective of secretive to add in those boxes and my sample sentence says the secretive message was written in code so the secretive message being the message that we're trying to hide from people, the hidden message. Go ahead and please make sure you write your own sentence with good context clues. They shouldn't be boring sentences, as I like to say in my class. It shouldn't say, like, the secretive message was cool. That's not a helpful sentence. Make sure your sentence uh, leads people to understand or to believe what something secretive is. Hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed reading it. There will be another one uh, for the next lesson uh, coming out tomorrow. Thanks so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, don't forget to, uh, after you're done, to do your write and response reading question. And the write and response reading should be written in paragraph form, multiple sentences, topic sentence, uh, evidence from the text, and transitional phrases. This is Mr. James signing off. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again soon.